All right, Johnny Lundberg, uh, clear on, uh, Hel or uh, you shouldn't say Helsingborg, Malmö calling, how are you? Fine, thank you, uh, up in Stockholm, Lille Holm. Yeah, and um, I have uh, understood that you have been, uh, I don't know, is it a promotion, Johnny? Because you were head of one of the uh, business areas before, but now clear on has sort of changed their organization a bit and you, uh, you have a new role at least, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. We, we um, earlier we had a, a three different business areas, and, and now we are, are um, instead of uh, working in three division, uh, we are focusing on, on um, uh, a, a new strategy uh, and the new growth in, in um, uh, different types of areas uh, where, where we see that we can benefit from a, a straighter organization structure. Uh, yeah. so, so, more yeah. functional, isn't it? More functional yeah. organization. More functional, more uh, customer orientated, uh, more, more uh, uh, focus on, on um, customer relations overall, I would say. Yeah, and, and we can start, what, what did you, because you were one of the division heads before, weren't you? you? You had one of the divisions, which one were you responsible for before? I was responsible for the clearing services, uh, mainly focusing on, on uh, sales promotion, uh, gift cards, uh, loyalty programs, and so on. And, and uh, of course, uh, clear as a company, we have uh, over 50 years of experience working with uh, uh, campaigns, coupons, uh, sales promotion systems. And, and uh, also over the last couple of years, uh, uh, awarded uh, internationally and, and uh, gain some awards for, for um, uh, creative way to, to uh, uh, sell products. Yeah, no, I, I remember, I, I saw you, you done some really cool stuff with uh, using mobile phones and uh, uh, some, some yeah, we, I know you were in New York, you were there as well, uh, collecting yeah, the- Yeah, yeah, yeah we, uh, 2019 actually, we went to New York to collect the prize and the, uh, uh, media awards uh, for yeah. a concept that we developed together with the ship step, uh, which was of course fun and, and uh, uh, international uh, knowledge. So yeah, yeah, no, that was cool. I remember, I remember because I, you know, uh, my my background. Well, I started sort of you know working with Clear on it. It's, it goes all the way back to 2017, uh, and then uh, I think during 18, I think we. We, we started to understand what we should do together. And then uh, 2019, uh, th that year was basically a big year for Blippit development. That's what we, we did in 2019. And uh, it's, uh, so I, I, I remember when you went to New York, I was jealous. Uh, why didn't you bring me? But uh, I guess I wasn't involved in that campaign. <laughs> next time, next time, you're okay. But now your role is sort of, uh, you know, it's sales and marketing, isn't it? Yeah, 100% focus and, and uh... Uh, so it's it's um, uh, it, it's stimulating to to uh, um, handle the, the the whole portfolio, of course, of services, and also see how we can develop new services and and work uh, uh, more together with our uh, key clients as well. Yeah, because one one of the services which I think were under you before, which is sort of key for what I like to talk about today, is uh, and I, I like to start there maybe is, is to talk a little bit about. Uh, clear online yeah. uh, because I, I think that's well known I think in the industry uh, but for uh, for people uh, who are not sort of uh, you know in the b2b business uh, what is clear online uh, and what's what yeah what, what is it all about could you is that possible to to summarize yeah <laughs> I give it a shot in a way uh, clear online is, is uh, it's sort of like a it's a platform that uh, we, we developed over the years, uh, integrated in, in uh, approximately 5,000 uh, grocery stores uh, with a connection to the, uh, the, to the POS system uh, and also with, with uh, automatic processes uh, around the clear, surrounding clearing, uh, payment terms uh, and, and so on. And also the, the clearing platform has an interface with, with the uh, our customer as well. So, so for instance, like Coca-Cola or, or uh, Unilever or, or so on could, uh, from Clear Online, uh, order a campaign and then uh, in a matter of minutes uh, be live in a Swedish retailer. Uh, um, 
So they, 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 yeah, I know you've done a web portal for it uh, sort of now, which is new, uh, quite new that you have the, the uh, supplier like Coca-Cola, they, they could actually define their campaign themselves within that web portal, isn't it? Yeah, the, 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 the biggest difference between our earlier uh, service is that, that uh, the customer can, can uh, self-serve themselves. Uh, so, so uh, for instance, Coca-Cola could, could uh, configure the campaign that is live in, in uh, ICAS or, or Coop stores in a matter of minutes. So it's yeah, yeah. an automatic process all through the way. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and um, the, the, the campaign, what, what is that typically? Is it, uh, because if, I guess if you have paper coupons, then there is sort of also a, a little bit of a delay in terms of distributing them. But, but I guess it's, it's not only paper coupons, uh, I guess. It could be other uh, type of uh, bearers as well of, uh, yeah. Yeah, of course, it could be mobile coupons, uh, uh, emails, and also uh, uh, opt-in for different type of, of uh, smartphone applications and so on. So, yeah, so it's, and, it's, and, it's, and I guess so. So, so clear online is is a way for uh, suppliers to the um, uh, to grocery stores um, in this FMCG industry to define their campaigns, and they it can be out in the minutes, which is great, but. But then I don't know if that is also the platform, as you say, it's quite an advanced one because what you, you know, if, if there is, I guess, if there is a discount, the customer will get it immediately uh, in the store, but you are in a way uh, uh, in between as a clearinghouse between the supplier who is paying for that discount and the merchant who are still getting the full price for the product paid by the uh, supplier, but they're getting it one day uh, sort of one day uh, afterwards, isn't it? Yeah, one day after, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's cool. So, so, so I, I really think that that whole because um, I, I think if we slide over to the, the topic of today, sort of food waste. Um, to implement just food waste discount, food waste oriented or uh, yeah, food waste oriented discounts uh, that you get directly when you buy, say, a, a product which could have some expiry. I, I think that is the, the development around that is not very hard. But but I think what you are providing as clear on uh, your platform, which is uh, you know tested and, and been running in the industry for uh, what is it, 10, 15 years. Yeah, around 15 years the, since the first version. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and I know, I know this uh, web portal is sort of new, but um, but but it, it, it's certainly a system that is uh, is operational uh, and and working. Where you said 5,000 stores, and uh, that must mean um, what is it? 20, 25,000 uh, uh, cash registers or something that has this uh, software. Approximately, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, no, because I think. Um, and and, and uh, luckily, I, I sort of I, I understood in a way what Clear Online was all about. Uh, I thought it was it's a, it's a fantastic system, and, and maybe you can comment. Is on an international level, um, how unique is what we have here in Sweden? Have you are there other countries who have something like Clear Online, or is this uh, just a Swedish sort of uh, innovation? Would you say? Um... It's sort of like a Swedish innovation. Uh, what we see uh, uh, talking to, to uh, colleagues in the industry, uh, looking at Central Europe or, or UK or, or the US for that matter, they have uh, come pretty far with the, uh, with the front end system, uh, making uh, coupons uh, available and possibility for the shopper. But um, at the back end system regarding the clearing and, and the services around that uh, at the retailers, clearing is, is uh, one of the leading company in the uh, in Europe and then worldwide, I would say. Yeah, yeah, no, I, and that's what I and and that's what impressed me, and that that was actually the trigger for why I, I when I came to um, you know uh, having a relationship with Clearon, and and we had an idea that we could leverage uh, the Clear Online for for payments. Uh, I, I think it turned out not to be that way, uh, but that was the original idea that uh, Clear Online would be. Uh, possible to use for uh, for for payments then I, I think it, it it's I think it's I, I think it actually fell through on that uh, when we talked to swish they were very clear that you have to get the amount uh, into the uh, payers app unless yeah. you can do that I, I think uh, your 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 
idea wouldn't fly. I think that's what I told us. And uh, that's, we, I know we struggle with that. How, how can we get the amount from the, uh, uh, even if Clear Online is like a software running in e each cash register, we had a problem of getting that out, I think. Yeah. And, and also, of course, there's a, more of a politi political question uh, than a technical question, of course. And, and uh, Yeah, I know, I know. Because you, yeah, I, I, I think it's, uh, because then it would expose that uh, purchase amount to uh, clear on also, obviously, if we're going to take it out that way. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah I, no, I can see that. I can see that. No, but but, um, but for food waste, uh, this is so, sort of interesting because I think the what I really see here is that uh, Clear Online is a system uh, really well spread in the whole uh, uh, FMCG business of Sweden um, and, and operational. And, and if we can create a, a discount, which is not something that the customer is carrying with a, you know, a special coupon, but it's actually the merchandise itself via this new innovation of GS1 that a, uh, every coupon will have, or sorry, every product will have a, a new marking where the cash register can actually read individual items uh, for, the, uh, for the goods itself. Not just the, the article number, but it will also understand, for instance, the best before date. I, I think this is what opens up the idea really for uh, maybe we can discount the customer, we'll give a, provide a, a reward for the customer immediately for not, like everybody does today, take the, uh, the the product with the longest shelf life. The uh, the freshest product is what you want. But if there is a reward, maybe you can change your behavior here uh, by consumers. Yeah, yeah, we think so too. But uh, of course, there are some. some um, we have some steps to be taken, but but uh, uh, the infrastructure is there, and then uh, uh, we, we are confident that, that uh, we can use Clear Online for these type of, of uh, processes. So Yeah, no, I think so too. I, I absolutely think. Have you any feeling, Yoni, because you, you, you work much more than I do in uh, towards those customers of uh, uh, food, fast moving consumer goods, uh, grocery stores. Uh, what, what sort of categories do you think uh, particularly uh, could be, you know, could be at, uh, interested here in, um, in maybe awarding customers for um uh, well, yeah what categories are we talking about do you think uh i think there are, will probably be different behaviors uh, around different categories of course uh, but but of course uh, um goods with with the shorter uh, best before or expiring date uh vegetables greens uh, diaries um, uh, bread and so on uh will uh, probably have have a um, biggest win uh, in this i think but but uh, the 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 need for it is, is the same for for uh, pretty much everyone i have to say mm -hmm. and, and um, of course uh, if we could be able to change the the, the shopper or the consumer behavior uh, there's so much benefits for for everyone in this for the retailer for the manufacturer and, and for the uh, consumer as well yeah, yeah, no, I agree. Uh, and I think if it needs to be a system implementation of some sort, if, if this is actually going to really have an impact, I, I think we have to do something on a wide spread level. Because right now, I think price or products are sold at full price and then, um, you know, uh, then they're scrapped uh, if they're not sold. And uh, I, my, my idea here would, was from the very start, this cannot be the optimal system. There has to be a way that you can design a price uh, policy which uh, makes more products move out of the shop and not having to take these huge costs for logistical costs and scrapping costs and everything which is involved today. Yeah, yeah, of course. And then uh, also as a uh, as a consumer myself, if I can make a, a, a sustainable choice. And then uh, also uh, make a smart deal, and then uh, uh, why not? Uh, I see only win-wins in it. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. No, I agree. And, uh, and I, I think it's sort of it's coming. I I don't know if you saw uh, there was a press release that came out of Coop uh, just uh, I think it was one or two weeks ago that strategically they have decided that they are going for uh, uh, sustainable uh, sort of uh, make Coop even greener than it is today. It's all they always be good at the green stuff, uh, you know. Being very early with uh, the whole uh, 
vegan and everything green and ecological. And now I think they are uh, sort of, they, they continue on that track and, and, and making uh, statements on that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I think it's good. I think it's good. So um, um, how, um, yeah, I, I said my view that I think is, this is gonna be fairly easy as you, a lot of the brunt of the work has been done by, by a, in the back end already with the clear line. But is that your feeling as well that we can maybe do this at least a proof of concept of it and uh, start trying it out shouldn't be too complicated even though we haven't decided yet that we are going this route but it's uh, assuming we make that decision it, it shouldn't be too complicated no no uh, we, we of course we have uh, done some sort of feasibility study uh, internally of clear and, and uh, like you said we see uh, a big potential in, in uh, running a, a proof of concept later this year uh, giving the go to, to uh, go ahead and, and uh, of course we, we maybe have to uh, make some, some uh, smaller adjustment in the system or, or um, uh, in the long term uh, but, but uh, short term uh, definitely we, we, we are quite ready I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I feel so too. Uh, and that's the, that's the exciting thing. So because I, you know, the, the interview I had on Monday here with uh, Stefan Olsson from GS1, and then, you know, they are, I think they have 25 companies right now who are member companies. Uh, and, and you are one of them uh, that is uh, involved in this sort of what is called a pre study phase or something around this uh, concept. Yeah, it's like a industry initiative together. So, so. Uh... Yeah, because I, th I think that right now, I guess it's it's not 100% true what I said, that it's full price and then they scrap it. Because what you sometimes see, but it's a very manual process, is that they run around and they put these uh, red, uh, you know, 50% discount because uh, short date. But it's uh, I, I don't think that's a pretty optimal, uh, you know, it's a, a lot of labor intensive. And uh, with this kind of system... Um, uh, everything can be automated in a way uh, and, and really be a win-win, as you say, for consumers, uh, suppliers, the merchants. I really, that's why I think it could change things on a broad scale. Yeah, I think so too. And then also given the fact that food waste in, in general is on uh, the whole industry's uh, agenda as well. Oh yeah, sustainability for sure, and food waste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, it, as you know, so even on United Nations, it's, it's one of their. Uh, I think it's goal number twelve point three that it should be reduced by fifty percent to twenty thirty. And then I, I think we need uh, initiatives like this that, that actually could uh, make a real difference uh, in the market. Yeah, I, 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 I think the marking is also interesting from the sense that if you think that currently, if uh, if a merchant is buying maybe a, a whole, uh, you know, uh, a big package of milk or a lot of milk, he knows the, uh, what, what is the expiry date of it. But the problem he has is that if there is a lot of different sort of expiry dates, uh, then he doesn't know what, what is left in the shelf. That, that has to be checked manually. But if the, every product, when they check it out, if it also deducts basically from uh, not just the product itself, but also knowing the product and the best before date, then uh, they have a, a much better view of uh, what is left. Uh, and if they have uh, products which uh, maybe expires uh, today, they, they can go find them instead of having to sort of go to every shelf and look for it. I think this system has so many um, benefits in a way for the whole uh, shopping or I say, the, the operations of, of the merchants as well to implement a system like this. Yeah, yeah, of course, it, it's a huge uh, effectiveness in the cost perspective, of course, yeah. so time management. I, I've right. seen those apps as well, you know, uh, I haven't used car my, uh, myself, I don't know if you have seen it, but, but it's um, it, it, because what you could do, I, I think, uh, a little bit longer term is that you can connect that data system, say from Coop then, uh, th th that could be projected out in a lot of consumer apps saying that, hey, we have, uh, we have some milks now at 50% discounts, which expires tomorrow, come buy them in a way. So this could also be automated in, in how you can spread this information because the data is certainly there. And then yeah. it's just a matter of uh, getting to climate conscious uh, consumers that they can have the opportunity to, to buy maybe. Yes. Yeah, that, that, that's uh, what we see also. Uh... Like I said initially, initially with the 
with the possibility to create a campaign and a coupon in, in a matter of minutes or seconds. It, it's uh, it's what, what Clear Online can do. And then, uh, of course, giving the, the retailer and, and, the, uh, and the stores the possibility to work uh, with this infrastructure as well. Uh, we are for sure giving them a chance to, to uh, make good as well. Yeah, no, I agree. So, hey, Yoni, um, Clear Event is something I, I've enjoyed presenting to. I even done Pecha Kuchas at, uh, you know, Clear Event. Uh, I remember, uh, I, I, you know, Pecha Kucha is 20 slides in 20 seconds on each, and it's on a timer. Yeah. And uh, I remember Pontus telling me that, uh, you know, he thought it was cool to, uh, you know, get the, everybody excited about something new Japanese and everything I had was a PowerPoint with a timer, I think he told me once. Do you remember that at Clear yeah, Event? Yeah, it was uh, Clear Event. Uh, was it 2019? Yeah. Yeah, at, at, I think we were at Ban Salon or something. Yeah. yeah so my question cool. to you, when, when, when are we going to have Clear Event again? Because I guess these are not happening at the moment, at least not uh, in a physical form. No, given the circumstances today, we... we... We're hoping for our next event uh, this autumn, uh, but but uh, what we know now is what we, we don't know what the future will come. But but yeah. hopefully uh, we have a clear event in, in uh, October. So it might be one. Okay. It might be one. Yeah. Same place. Same place. Yeah. 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 No, that's good. Uh, so I, I think then it might be a good opportunity then to come and talk about um, this uh, brilliant ideas around. Uh, food waste and uh, yeah, uh, rescue food and uh, the post uh, point of sale reward uh, immediately. Definitely, maybe maybe time for launch uh, of the sustainable coupon. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think so too. I know because it, 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 it will just become another category. You know, you have uh, sales promotion categories uh, or uh, sales promotion valuables uh, that you have as coupons and there is uh, you know you can have gift cards things and you can have um, yeah there's so much clear is doing uh, that is cleared through clear online so this is just another type of uh, instrument isn't it for you yeah it uh, covers a, a different need i would say but the the, the technology is, is pretty much the same yeah and i think we had, we had a discussion the other day we we compared it a little bit with this uh, product check a product check uh yeah. because that one has the if you get that from clear on basically maybe you have uh this could be that you have been delayed on the train and and what they reward you with is that you you know you can go and get an aladdin uh, chocolate box uh, sort of in the store and then th then you have a, basically a product check for that uh, yeah. but the good thing what the clear on the clear online would do is to pick up the price from the merchant for that one and uh, then uh Clearon will return. So you send that price up to the, the cloud and the Clearon will return basically, okay, here you have that as a discount. But if we use that, it's very similar to use with, uh, with food waste. It's just that we probably not are discounting it 100%, just uh, maybe 30 or 20 or whatever rules they have set up for it. Yes. But, but I think it's good that there's already structures there. And that's why I think this is... Um, yeah, I really like to go ahead if we, if we can. I hope we can set up uh, something with Clear on um, for this. Uh, it, it would make so much sense. And I think Sweden could be an example. Uh, as you said, uh, Clear on is world leading in a way, or uh, very advanced in, in the whole back end system of what has been done here. Yeah, yeah. And also uh, looking at the Swedish society in general and, and, and the focusing on, on the sustainable. Uh, uh, choices and everything. So, so I think the Swedish uh, consumers are, are ready as well. Yeah, yeah. On, on Friday in this uh, food waste week, uh, I'm going to talk to Anna Ekström uh, okay. and, and she works with uh, Nielsen. Uh, and I, I, I know we've, we've, you have invited her a few times to uh, clear events as well. And because I think her, her take on this would be all right, uh, we can help you uh, as we have all the prices and all the, uh, all the information from every single line item in every store. We can help the, uh, the, consu oh, sorry, the suppliers, uh, but also the, uh, the merchants to try to, what should we give as discount? So we are sort of uh, optimizing the system so it has um, you know, a good effect uh, for what you want to achieve. And, and I think it's an interesting um, that they have... Uh, yeah, they, they, they do that kind of uh, price analysis, which I think could play in here in an interesting way. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah of course you we probably have to find the right triggers uh, due to the specific circumstances surrounding a category or a product line or or uh, whatever it could be but but uh, uh, also we have to find the, the key factors surrounding a specific date and, and time uh, uh, time for sale as well yeah 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 no i i think it could be it could even be even the, this, in, I think the discount maybe even uh, could be affected by um, how much you know store or how much uh, merchandise you have left in the store. Yeah, of course. So, so it, it almost becomes a, a model which is almost like when you book hotel rooms that if there's a lot of availability, then maybe they discount a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you have much more to sell, you discount more than if you have you don't have too many seats left or uh, hotel rooms left. Almost like the plane is doing, or the trains are doing, hotels are doing. This could come in this sort of logic, even in uh, this kind of systems. I think very dynamic, and it could be different. I guess discounts possibly uh, from store to store, really depending yeah. on the situation. Yeah, and and, and also what's what's uh, great about this, I think, is the, from the manufacturer's uh, perspective, they don't have to to. Uh, be reactive and, and uh, come to 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 clear on and, and go into clear online uh, saying we have a problem in in uh, this physical store or, or at this retailer or, or they, they could uh, do it all the time and, and uh, we will set up an, an um, a structure saying that uh, when we have uh, 30 pieces left uh, in in uh, stores uh, um, um, uh, with, with with this type of batch uh, we yeah. can order it and uh, and then uh, a discount or a coupon. Yeah, and and the system lends itself. So we talked a lot about uh, best before date, but but as you said, it could be a batch as well uh, that uh, may be fully functional, but they for some reason they want to sell a batch out, uh, and and that is also something which is on an individual le level. It's not on the the article level itself it's a batch of that article that uh, maybe a manufacturer wants to sell at the discounted price or a merchant want to sell and and it lends itself easily to that as well that is possible to do yeah yeah no i think it's good and i'm let's let's see it uh, yoni we we have to get this going uh i think we have a uh, it's up it's almost like it's up for us to fail uh, so let's uh, just uh, set a new swedish industry standard and we we go to new york together and uh, create collect some sort of United Nation uh, Sustainability Award. Yeah, that sounds good. But uh, <laughs> yeah, like I said, there, there's a few steps to take, but the possibility is, is uh, definitely there. Yeah, no, I think so too. I think so too. I, I, I just got extra motivation now because I was jealous when you went to New York with Chipset. So uh, this time I'm gonna, uh, gonna come with you, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. All right. Thanks so much for uh, taking the time on uh, being part of this interview and I look forward to come up to Stockholm uh, because I don't travel too much if it's just a, a single meeting then I'd rather do it this way but I, I, one thing I know uh, being part of the sort of clear on family is that you do you do throw great parties and uh, that's one of the best thing with uh, being part of the uh, FMCG industry so I, I, I really hope that that could get going again. Yeah, we, we, we work hard and we play hard. <laughs> yes, you do. So uh, thanks so much, Johnny, for uh, you know being a good friend and uh, yeah, uh, being part of the interview. And uh, I look forward to working uh, closer with you on this. Thank you. Likewise. Okay. Take care, Johnny.